Alright, now we're in the conquest of Rujun. Now, who do I want to use? So I just used Sun C, so. Feudal Edge. Weapon staff. Let's go with this guy. Let's see what weapons I've got. Arm blades. Best ones I have are heaven, unfortunately. But I might be able to buy something, so let's. My health boost has been working for me. Alright. I have lived my life on the battlefield. Alright, let's see what this guy has got to say. To sell us. Um, damn, shit weapons. I don't know if I even want to bother buying any of this, to be honest. Let's do what I did last time and pretty much stick to the one that's better. Um, sorry, Zuyu, I did not think we would end up in this position. Oh, no, Sensei. Actually, I'm rather pleased. Rather than taking over Sun Yun's base, you and I get to embark on a new quest for power. Hee <laughs> hee. Thanks, I know I can always rely on you. Okay, first we need to set up a base to start from, and that should definitely be here in Wu. Yes, this land belongs to the Sun family. Uh, but it was taken from them from the Young family. Uh, though right now it is being held by others. We will defeat the usurpers that claim this land for the Sun family. The people of Wu are sure to accept you with open arms. Yes, I know what must be done. Now we just need to go and do it. Quan and Han Dang should be here soon too, so let's be Alright. What the fuck? So the enemy forces in Is he carrying a boat on his arm? Us, so it looks must like a fucking boat. And shake them up a bit. I will go and that is ridiculous. <laughs> that is even more ridiculous. Alright. <laughs> What the fuck? Strike the ground in your body on using a shockwave. That's four and two. And then trap the enemy in the air and fling them against the ground is one and two. We to attack one. Pal driver, grab an enemy and smash him into the ground head first. Oh god damn. The other two are still locked. <laughs> this guy's normal attacks seem fucking ridiculous. What? Do I really have the right? Is that Jesus? What the fuck? <laughs> I can't believe they put this shit as a weapon in this game. The enemy has died. The enemy is here now. Water even comes out of the ground when he does this shit. That's pretty vicious though, I kinda like his thing. Alright, I need to be heading the other way. I think. Maybe I can head this way. Oh, totally yeah, I think I can. So let's try that. Now this actually makes sense. Damn! That was a strong single target attack.
Alright, hopefully the sound actually got louder there. This is not too loud for me. Hopefully it's not too loud that you can't hear me. Oh, wrong way. Oh. I don't think there's a gate commander guy over this way. I might have went the wrong direction. Nope, no gatekeeper. God damn it. Well, this is the point of playing these two on oh, no. Hopefully that guy's unit isn't in trouble. Although our morale is lower than the enemies, so it's not a good thing. This dude's such a badass, he rides his horse through the water and kills his enemies with a boat attached to his arm. Because <laughs> fuck common sense. I wonder how they get off calling this an arm blade though. Like that's not what this weapon is. Like I don't know what the actual name for it should be really, but I'm pretty sure it just doesn't count as an arm blade and all the fucking things. Get this unit commander over there. There we go. You will lend me a hand? Come on, what are you waiting for? Let's get this fight started. I'll let you go. <laughs> Don't think you've won. They just don't make enemy officers like they used to. You are Damn. That's not even his EX attack, and that was fucking ridiculous. This is two and two. Yeah, that's the EX attack, the second one, or the longer one rather, which is technically the first one, because it doesn't make any fucking sense, that's why. Where's the gatekeeper? This is a great way to cover distances fast. Oh, alright, I need to use it on... Tell me to pick up the right guy. Yeah! Fuck yeah! Oh! That's awesome. I wonder how quick this would break this guy's guard, too. Not that quick. The regular hits are faster. Damn! Alright. This that was actually, I'll definitely agree. That was fucking nuts.
<laughs> God damn. The enemy is too far. Can't wait till I break out this fucking rage attack. It's a great way, like, I see a pickup in the distance, I just use that attack on my way there, and it's fucking faster than running or using the horse or any of the shit. And I kill everybody on the way. Like, that's... This is excellent. This is a new favorite character. But, uh, remember this guy. Hmm. I guess it looks like we can go straight down. Or maybe we can go to this side? I'm wondering, like, what's up with this? Although it looks like the gate to the left of us might be closed, too. So it might be, like, a thing that triggers... Like, we have to start going the short way, and then... Double back or something like that. This seems to be the kind of pattern that... Or at least when there's huge swaths of land that look like you're not going to quite a spectacle. cover them. Uh, well, in some cases, they do actually leave it untouched. Although I imagine there's some sort of hypothetical scenario dealy, which we'll get to at one point, um, that involves this stuff. Like some of the battles you play from both sides, so you'll play as one side and the other, and then. In the free mode, there's Such like a thing skill. where you complete certain objectives, unlock like a hypothetical version of it. Um, but yeah. Not only did Tyson still contravene my orders, but he got himself defeated as well. Only he waited as I told him. Tyson took the defeat. So wrong, we must put him. Oh. Our strategy to lure out the enemy was a success. Now, to take down Zerong and Shue Li and capture the castle. Make way. Here I come. Uh -oh. If I cannot find a way to control him, I will be made a laughing stock. I refuse to allow him to expose my forces to defeat. <sighs> Such extraordinary skill. I must retreat and rethink my strategy. The hell? This shall be the end. I will fight with a warrior spirit. Dude withdrew immediately. What? What is going on? That officer means to take back the supply depot. We can't allow that to happen. What supply depot? Z? Alright, well we're gonna go this way. This might be an actual thing, like if you go with a different character, you're supposed to go this way maybe? Hopefully that officer doesn't get in trouble. But, whatever. Fuck it, I could be doing everything wrong. Come forth. I shall teach you a thing or two about the battle. Uh. To be punished. <laughs> nope. Oh, you did it differently this time.
show that. Oh, ho, ho. Oh. God damn. They just don't make enemy officers like they used to. This appears to be as far as we go. Oops. Back for now. They just don't make enemy officers like they used to. Right. We gotta keep going. Maybe we can get to what's his face in time. Although maybe doubtful. Tell me you got the right guy. This ends nope. Now. Missed him. Oh, I got him. This ends now. <laughs> you right. my strategy. Listen now. Oh, he fled. Oh well. Oh well. His face might actually capture the supply depot now. Such great strength. Nice going. Keep it up. Also seems to be able to follow up his storm rush with other attacks really easy. I don't know if that's always a thing, or if I'm just like, I'm kind of like just now discovering that that's if you're able to do that, or if it really is something specific. But it definitely seems to at least be, uh, I feel like I would have accidentally run into that more so by now. Or maybe it's just the flow of his. The gates are open. Head straight for their leader. As I've said time and time Damn. again, there is no substitute for experience. No, there is not. You've done it, my lord. 
Master Liu Yao, my apologies. As a warrior and as a man, I wish to live a just and true life. Uh huh? So, from this day, my life is yours, Master Sun Tzu. Wow, I wasn't even close. <laughs> Thank you, Tai Shi Tzu. What the fuck? Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, tell me that fucking uh the caption spelled wrong. <laughs> Look, <laughs> I'm never going to say that properly again. <laughs> this is your land. And these are your men. Yes. I finally feel it. I stand as the head of the House of Sun. Everyone! The land is in turmoil. To be honest, I've no idea what'll happen next. But, with your help, I'm going to do everything I can to make it right! <laughs> Let's go! The House of Wu stands proudly in Jiangdong, and we are its people! Yeah! Oh, Wu down the wrong line, apparently. To go there, Sun Tzu and the officers that fought alongside him conquered Wu Jun in an instant. The reputation of Wu spread far and wide across the troubled land. Afterwards, Sun Tzu joined forces with Liu Bei and others to defeat Yan Shu, who had proclaimed himself something. Due to the seemingly unstoppable advance, the people came up with a name for Sun Tzu. The Little Conqueror. They were comparing him to Yang Yu, a legendary hero that was known as the Conqueror. Four years later, Cao Cao attacked Yan Shao of Hua Bei. I'm saying it was wrong after building up his strength and the fuck, I'm gonna stop correcting myself. The two of them prepared to engage in a large scale battle on the fields of Guandu. They created the perfect opportunity. Sun Tzu rose up to strike Cao Cao from behind while he was preoccupied. If he could rescue the Emperor and gain control of the Central Plains region, there would be little that could stand in the way of Wu. Faced with this incredible opportunity, the morale of Sun Tzu, Zhu Yu, Sun Quan, and Cao Tai rose considerably. Yeah, that's it. I was never going to say that name again, right? However, a dark shadow is slowly descending upon them. 